Hey guys, welcome back to Mojo Grip. Mike here. So today I'm back at the Sling Academy and something really cool I want to show you because a lot of you ask questions about uh, starting your training or things you can do in terms of groundwork uh, without being in an airplane. But something I almost never talk about on this channel is a flight simulator. And I'm going to show you an example of what this looks like. So here's your typical setup, okay? of what a flight simulator looks like and if you've ever been in a small airplane you're probably familiar with all of this but before I get to this I want to show you just what's made up of this entire thing look this is your normal computer monitor screen so we've got three here they've got three here you've got a mouse and a keyboard uh, but probably what's more important is the PC that you're going to be using so you want something more like a gaming PC but you can probably use a standard computer as well that would affect your speed uh, loading speed and things like that but so there we've got the PC you've got your rudder pedals there uh, this is your yoke that you would see in a typical Cessna or if you want to go for the stick like we have in the sling too here's a joystick that you can use um, and then here's the main stuff so you've got your primary display here You've got another screen there. Guess what? This is an iPad. All right, just a cover on it, but this is an iPad. They're both iPads, right? I fuck that, okay. You can even just lift that off. Oh. I mean, I'll put this in the, in the fancy wow. box here, but that's just an iPad. Okay, cool. Yeah. So so you see here, this is, this is an iPad right here to set this up. Okay, it looks a whole lot more fancy than it is. So you've got your displays there, your glass cockpit. Um, and then, look, just in a normal standard cockpit, you've got these, all right? Your throttle, prop lever, mixture, and your trim. And then in the middle here, you've got your radio. See, even on the, on the yoke, you've got your different buttons here. I'm sure there's a push to talk button. Uh, and this works just like a yoke in a, in a standard airplane, okay? So you've got your entire setup in one place, and this is something you can set up on your own. Uh, get the right software or application. And also, I spoke to a CFI yesterday, and he confirmed to me that some of his best students or some of the faster learning students are students who already have some training in a flight simulator, okay, before they actually get into a real airplane. All right, so I'm actually going to show you just what it looks like if you were flying one of these. All right, so this is Wayne here. He's going to show us how this thing works. So tell me, uh, the, the screens look on already. How do I get flying? Okay, so it, uh, like you said, this is an app on an iPad, and for both these iPads, it was a $110 purchase. Oh, so the, the software is called <laughs> Simonix. Okay. Uh, so we're using the Simonex software. X-Plane itself is 60 bucks. Um, it's, it's more for a commercial license uh, that we'd, we'd use here, but uh, 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 it's 60 bucks if you want to run X-Plane at home. Right. Uh, you know, 10 bucks if you want to run an app on the iPad. You don't need both. And you can do as much or as little of this as you want. You know, this is about 60 bucks. You know, the, 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 the pedals are maybe, you know, 100 and something dollars, 100 and something dollars for the yoke. We've got a stick and a yoke, uh, because obviously the sling is a stick, but then the 20 aircraft we're looking to use in the school is a Technum uh, P2006T, uh, okay, and that cool. uses the yoke, so that's why we've kind of set it up for both. So we'll, uh, you've already seen some slings, so we'll fly, fly a, a Cessna, uh, sorry, not a Cessna, a Technum uh, twin engine aircraft today. So, uh, okay. so we just click on new flight. Uh, Choose the choose the aircraft that you want to fly. So we're going to uh, fly the V Sky Labs P two thousand six T. Now you can buy different aircraft. So I bought I bought these two Technum twin engine aircrafts for I think about thirty bucks. So none oh, of this through, is through the application. This yeah. So, <laughs> so people cool, actually. Like a game. Yeah. So people develop different aircraft, different scenery, different. You can uh, kind of tweak it all however you want. So we're going to take off from LAX. Okay. Because uh, it'll be fun. And we'll, we'll start a new flight. Uh, we'll just ignore this message here. So it's going to take a little while to run up. I mean, this is a pretty powerful PC with a, uh, a solid state drive. But, you know, 
if you if you're doing this at home with a less powerful PC, it might take you know three, four, five minutes okay. uh, to to run up. We, we we'll be a bit quicker. Okay, cool. So guys, while that is loading, uh, once that comes on completely as it just did, you see now the radios just came on. All right. Cool, and you can set your radio for a ground tower or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, so the little hat switch here on the yoke, that's how we would look around the aircraft. Oh, cool. So we can see when we look around the aircraft if we... Um, uh, like if we move any of the dials here or the yoke, we can see that it's all dialed in. Wow, this is pretty neat. Look, that, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so we don't need the instruments. You can see that we've got both... The, uh, our instruments. So even if you didn't want to set up the iPad here, you can just use the instruments on the screen. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can spend, you know, a few hundred dollars on uh, on getting, uh, you know, yoke and yoke and pedals would be the two most important things. Uh, you know, maybe a throttle quadrant, and you know, the rest you can work out. You can set your trim up on your yoke, so you can spend as much or as little as you want. You don't have to spend a, a huge amount of money. Okay. Um, so here we are at LAX. Uh, and I mean, you can even, and you, you can even see here, let me just dial down. Uh, like if I turn off my avionics here, oh, see wow. my avionics are turning off, uh, you know, master, you know, now I've lost everything. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so, you know, everything's all dialed in here. And then if you even want to configure it so you can start up and do your run up checks, you can do all that. And that's worth doing, you know, getting a checklist of right, whatever aircraft right. you're going to fly. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, Let's get going. So I mean, you can even do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> I have it on here while I hold the camera. So I can hold it. Okay, yeah, yeah. sweet. So show me, show me, crash, take off, and land this airplane. So you hit both the tow brakes, and now if you give it full throttle, does the mixture and the prop have to come up too, or uh, those so are mix? This is actually injected. This aircraft, so oh, the mixture is okay. oh, um, mix redundant. But if you give it full throttle right now, with my feet still on the tow brakes or no? Uh, no. So okay. feet off the tow brakes. That was just to take off your parking brake, which is just configured in the software. All you, right, we're flying. You're gonna need a little little bit of uh, right rudder, and then once we uh, once we get up to rotation speed. What's the takeoff? I mean rotation. Uh, so I'm not familiar with the tech number. Let's just get it up to probably around 60. Yeah, around 60 knots or so. So if you pull back now, you'll find that you're Airspeed is alive. All right, rider, I'm pulling. <laughs> there, oh, there you go. we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, we are off. There we are. Oh, this is pretty cool. That yoke is definitely sensitive. And you can tune the yoke. So if you're familiar with how the aircraft feels, right. you can set up your, you know, tune the yoke or the stick to work for the aircraft that you have. Oh, this is cool. So guys, see, this is this is what I mean. I'm literally flying an airplane. I could be doing this in my living room, okay? And I have the entire setup. If you've never been in a small airplane before, this is exactly. Uh, almost similar to the same uh, setup that you would have in a small aircraft or a small piston engine aircraft. Uh, but you can start learning how to fly an airplane either from the comfort of your own home or like I said, even at, a, at Slink uh, Pilot Academy here, they offer something like this uh, to learn, but also they would be getting even more sophisticated stuff. But I just wanted to show you, you know, because a lot of you ask these questions about how to get started, some of the stuff you could be doing right now, groundwork or studying, things like that. This is something you can add to your repertoire or your tool bag, and that way you can you can keep your skills sort of sharp while you're not flying in a real uh, airplane. But that's it. I just wanted to show you the sim. It's really cool. Now I gotta find the airport and go <laughs> and go land this thing. Where is the airport? The airport yep, yeah, if you right take there. a left here. Oh, oops. Let's see. I'm looking for my runway. So there should be one on either side of those buildings. If you turn left now, you'll be able to see it. They're so long. 
There'll be some just to the right of those buildings there. Yeah, so if you get some flaps flaps down, it'll slow you down. So where are my flaps? So your flaps are right there. So, so you can land on either side, you've got tons of room on the right there. Oh yeah, okay. Let's kill the power. Oh, there's a power on the yeah, on the oh, left. Oh, oops. To land on the taxiway. So it's actually it's actually harder to fly a simulator really? than it is to uh, than it is to fly a, a real aircraft. I think so. A lot of the instructors here, when they get a student that's really honed their skills on a simulator, they get straight in the air and fly. I mean, they just <laughs> don't do this though. <laughs> All right, well there you go. This is this is a really cool setup here. Now I gotta get off the plane because the plane just caught on fire. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, what I wanted to show you is the fact that you can set this up, you know, at your own convenience, and you can find a school that offers something like this. Because flying, it's a it's a what's the, what's the word they use? It, basically, if you don't fly, if you take time off. Uh, you have to relearn stuff so something like this will keep your skills up and sharp but anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did give a thumbs up uh again my name is mike thank you so much for watching and hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't yet and i'll catch you on the next one peace